హలో స్టూడెంట్స్ వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు ఎలిమెంట్స్ ఆఫ్ మెకానికల్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ కోర్స్ లెక్చర్ క్లాస్ టూ అగైన్ ద కంటిన్యూషన్ ఆఫ్ మాడ్యూల్ త్రీ ద ఇంటర్నల్ కంబస్టన్ ఇంజిన్స్ ఇన్ దిస్ లెక్చర్ క్లాస్ ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ ద మీనింగ్ ఆఫ్ ఫోర్ స్ట్రోక్ సైకిల్ ఇంజిన్ దట్ మీన్స్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద మీనింగ్ ఆఫ్ ఫోర్ స్ట్రోక్ సైకిల్ ఇంజిన్ next what is the meaning of two stroke cycle engine then working of four stroke petrol engine so before going for further in this class next uh, we will discuss about the mechanism uh, looking to the figure so here we can see the cylinder cylinder is connected with a piston rod piston rod is connected to a connecting rod connecting rod is connected to a crank so piston reciprocates inside the cylinder you can see the reciprocating symbol as the piston reciprocate inside the cylinder the connecting rod will oscillate so as the connecting rod oscillates the crank rotates connecting rod oscillates the crank rotates so piston rod reciprocates that is reciprocation means moving forward and backward inside the cylinder that is a reciprocating motion as the as the piston rod reciprocates the connecting rod is going to oscillate and because of oscillation the crank is going to rotate as the crank rotates the vehicle starts moving from one point to the another point so this fundamental thing you should understand to know about uh, what is the meaning of four stroke cycle engine so in four stroke cycle engine we have four strokes suction stroke compression stroke expansion stroke it is also called as a working stroke or power stroke next is exhaust stroke so four stroke cycle engine consists of four strokes suction compression expansion exhaust so in this uh, two revolutions the crank has to make two revolutions in order to complete one cycle one cycle means suction compression expansion exhaust will make one cycle in the four stroke engine okay so crank will make two revolution that is 360 degree plus 360 degree so crank 0 to 360 degree 180 360 again 0 to 360 crank has to make two revolution in order to in order to produce one power stroke one power stroke means energy will be liberated energy the thermal energy will be liberated it will be produced upon the completion of two cycles two revolutions of the crank two revolutions of the crank okay so the in this four stroke cycle engine we have four strokes suction compression expansion exhaust crank is going to make a two revolutions in order to produce one power stroke this much you have to write what is the four stroke cycle engine means okay so suction compression expansion exhaust are the four strokes crank will make two revolutions in order to produce one power stroke okay you see here in the animation 1 2 3 4 means the stroke names first is suction second is compression third is exp- expansion fourth is exhaust so blue color suction okay compression third is you can see the in third just look into the thing third you will get a spark red color so fourth one is exhaust the exhaust gases will go to the atmosphere so crank is rotating crank is rotating crank makes two revolutions we can see very well crank makes two revolutions in order to produce the power stroke crank is rotating the connecting rod the vertical thing is connecting rod is oscillating okay piston is going up and down piston is going up and down okay piston is going up and down so first is suction second is compression third is expansion fourth is exhaust next two stroke cycle engine means you will have only two strokes that is a uh, two strokes a first stroke up stroke or is also called compression suction ignition second stroke is down stroke expansion and exhaust Uh, so in this uh, engine that is a two stroke cycle engine you don't have any separate stroke for the suction and exhaust strokes suction exhaust there is no separate stroke and 
only only one rotation of the crank we are going to get the the power stroke so crank will make only one rotation that is only 360 degree uh, to get the one power stroke so just uh, this is the significance of two stroke cycle engine the crank will make only one rotation to get the power stroke that is energy stroke in four stroke cycle engine crank has to make two revolutions of the crank in order to get the power stroke so what is the difference between four stroke engine two stroke engine means in four stroke engine we are going to get we will have a four strokes first you should write four strokes suction compression expansion exhaust and crank will make two revolutions 720 degree revolution and in the case of two stroke engine there will be a two stroke first stroke and second stroke and there is no separate uh, uh, stroke like suction stroke and exhaust stroke crank will make only one rotation crank will make only one rotation to get the power stroke this is the difference between four stroke engine two stroke cycle engine next we are going to discuss about the working principle of four stroke cycle engine so in this syllabus in our syllabus we have two four stroke cycle engine petrol engine diesel engine petrol engine is also called a spark ignition engine four s si engine we can write like this also four stroke spark ignition engine second one is diesel engine compression ignition engine four uh, s ci engine compression ignition four s si means four stroke spark ignition so in this lecture class uh, i am going to discuss about the uh, four stroke spark ignition that is petrol engine only in this lecture class i am going to discuss okay in the next lecture class i am going to discuss about the four stroke uh, diesel engine okay for working of four stroke petrol engine so before going for the actual working principle we should understand some of the uh, background about the four stroke petrol engine okay so it is a working cycle name of the working cycle is auto cycle auto cycle means it is a constant volume cycle uh, actually it was developed by a german scientist nikola sarto in the year 1876 that is why the name is kept like that only auto cycle nikola sarto a german scientist who has developed uh, this uh, four stroke petrol engine in the year 1876 next petrol undergoes carburetion process in the carburetor petrol undergoes carburetion process in the carburetor so this you have to understand carefully that is before the petrol reaches to a cylinder uh, so it has to undergo the carburetion process what is the what is the meaning of that means see you know the petrol it is there in the petrol tank so petrol will be there in the petrol tank so directly the petrol will not go to the uh, cylinder so from the petrol tank the petrol will go to the uh, filter okay in filter the petrol the will be purified so filter filter uh, petrol will be filtered because petrol contains some uh, contaminants some impurities that is why you have to uh, remove the impurities the contaminants that is first you have to uh, we have to remove the uh, the contaminants that is why petrol is filtered the purified petrol will go to the carburetor purified petrol will go to the carburetor in carburetor the carburetion process takes place carburetion means atomization vaporization of the petrol that is fuel atomization and vaporization of the fuel and mixing the this uh, fuel in proper proportion correct proportion with the air that is called as carburetion process okay so the breaking the petrol molecules and mixing these petrol molecules in proper proportion with the air and this air fuel mixture is called a charge that charge will go inside the cylinder okay that charge will go inside the cylinder now coming to the point breaking the molecule that is atomization atomization is breaking the molecules of a petrol in the form of a fine spray breaking the molecules of petrol in the form of a fine spray is called as atomization uh, that means what so you know uh, the body spray we are all using body spray so body spray means it will have a container in the container liquid will be there inside and above the top of the container we have the knob when you press the knob the liquid that is body spray what is there inside the container okay it will be coming in the form of a fine spray actually that is the meaning is called atomization we are uh, we are breaking the entire molecule small uh, the moment of particles into the form of fine spray that is called as atomization 
is called as atomization so breaking up the molecules breaking of a small a larger molecules in the form of a small small the fine spray the form of a fine spray smaller smaller particles okay smaller smaller particles fine spray that is called as atomization process so this atomized molecules as atomized petrol fuel is will mix with the air and it becomes air fuel mixture in the correct proportions we have to mix in the correct proportion all that thing will be taken care by the carburetor only so carburetor main job is to it has to break the molecules of a petrol in the form of fine spray and it has to mix with the uh, correct quantity of uh, air and, uh, and this air plus the petrol uh, is a charge it and then from there it will go to the cylinder okay that is called as carburetion process so what we have written here in the slide is atomization and vaporization of the fuel and mixing the fuel with the air in the varying proportions to suit the changing operating conditions of the engine the process of breaking and mixing up of fuel with the air is called as carburetion process air plus fuel mixture is called as a charge charge is going to enter into the cylinder okay next coming to the uh, diagram so this diagram we we are showing here four diagrams okay first diagram is suction stroke second is compression stroke third one is expansion fourth one is exhaust so in suction stroke suction means sucking inside what is sucking inside charge charge means what air plus fuel mixture so in this uh, diagram you can see the iv the inlet valve uh, then exhaust valve ev uh, then top dead center TDC, BDC is bottom dead center. You can see the crank also, connecting rod also. You can see all these things in the figure. Spark plug, SP. SP stands for spark plug. Why spark plugs are used? Used now to produce the spark. Spark plugs are used to, uh, to produce the spark. A small spark is sufficient to have a combustion process. Okay. Uh, so I will again repeat. IV means inlet wall. EV means exhaust wall. Uh, TDC is top dead center, BDC is bottom dead center. So crank is making 0 to 180 degree, 180 to 360. Then again, the one, one, so top two figures, it will have one cycle, one rotation. Bottom two figures will show down one more rotation. So totally four figures will put together two rotations of the crank. Okay, coming to the suction stroke. Suction stroke, first stroke, suction stroke. The charge enters inside the cylinder. How it enters means the piston moves from top dead center to bottom dead center. Piston moves from top dead center TDC to BDC. As piston moves in downward direction, in cylinder there will be a vacuum. Vacuum, a partial vacuum will be created inside the cylinder. Because of the partial vacuum, uh, automatically the charge which is present outside, uh, it will be sucked inside. It will be uh, sucked in because there is a difference in the atmospheric pressure compared to the atmospheric pressure. So, difference in atmospheric pressure, the charge uh, will be sucked automatically inside the cylinder. Okay, that is suction stroke. Suction stroke means sucking the charge as the air plus fuel mixture inside the cylinder. Okay, so at the time, inlet valve will be open condition, exhaust uh, valve will be in closed condition. Exhaust valve, why it is in closed condition? Because uh, no uh, exhaust gases are there, so at the time, no need to open that. So, exhaust valves will be in the closed condition. Okay, IV inlet valve only in open condition. So, inlet valve is open, exhaust valve is closed, uh, piston movement is uh, TDC to BDC, uh, then crank rotation is 0 degree to 180 degree. Okay, crank rotation is 0 degree to 180 degree. Next, coming to the compression stroke. In compression stroke, compression means compressing. Okay, we are applying the force, compressive force. Okay, so now uh, in the cylinder head, we have the uh, charge. Okay, now the piston starts moving from bottom dead center to the top dead center. This animation you would have seen already in the previous slide. Okay, that is uh, 2. 2 is compression. Uh, so the piston moves in the upward direction that is the movement of the piston from bottom dead center to top dead center the whatever the amount of charge which is present inside the cylinder will be compressed it will be compressed so as it come at the time inlet valve will be in the closed condition exhaust valve also will be in closed condition so crank makes 180 degree to 360 degree one revolution of the crank is completed 
So okay. So uh, when the once uh, com compression takes place, the charge is compressed. The pressure and temperature of the charge increases. The pressure and temperature of the charge increases. Okay. Now uh, third one is expansion stroke or working stroke or uh, power stroke. Okay. Uh, so here before uh, starting of the expansion stroke, soon after the completion of uh, uh, what do you call that a, a compression stroke before the starting of before the starting of expansion stroke soon after the completion of uh, compression stroke okay uh, the spark plug sp spark plug produces the spark spark plug produces the spark so once spark is produced already the charge is compressed it is have it has gained the uh, uh, pressure uh, okay yeah, the pressure and temperature of the uh, charge is uh, high and once a small spark is sufficient to have a combustion okay small spark is sufficient to have a, a combustion process so combustion takes place the expansion stroke combustion takes place and hot gases are produced so these hot gases starts expanding that is why we are calling as expansion stroke these hot gases are starts expanding okay it starts moving okay when it starts moving the gas starts uh, uh, pushing the piston rod in the downward direction thereby uh, piston rod comes from top dead center to bottom dead center okay the uh, bottom, top dead center to bottom dead center at the time now uh, this inlet valve and exhaust valve both are in the closed condition next is last one so crank will make in expansion stroke uh, crank will make zero degree to one degree that is one and a half revolution Next, and the fourth one is exhaust stroke. Exhaust, you know, exhaust means what are uh, the exhaust gases? It has to go to the atmosphere. So at the time, exhaust valve should be in open condition. Exhaust valve should be in open condition. Okay. So the, once the gases, all the work is completed, working stroke, uh, work is completed, remaining gases, okay, remaining gases, it has to go to atmosphere. So the piston uh, moves from uh, bottom dead center. Piston moves from bottom dead center to top dead center. Thereby, the piston starts. Piston pushes the gases, hot gases. Piston pushes the hot gases to the atmosphere forcefully. The piston uh, pushes the hot gases which are there, which are not required actually, and that will be pushed outside outside the cylinder. Uh, so, uh, the time exhaust valve will be in open condition. Exhaust valve will be in open condition. So, uh, uh, all the gases, okay, exhaust gases will go to the atmosphere. Now the, the cylinder is ready to accept a, a fresh charge, so thereby inlet valve will be in open condition, exhaust valve will be in the closed condition. Uh, students, all these four strokes will happen in less than a second. What we are discussing in 10 to 20 minutes or in some 15 minutes only is only for understanding purpose. All these suction, compression, expansion, exhaust will take place in a, a less than a second. Okay, you cannot even, you cannot uh, calculate the time also, it is less than a second it will happen. Okay, uh, uh, so we should understand that uh, the concept uh, or the behind this four stroke cycle uh, engine, petrol engine. Okay, so coming to the, uh, this uh, table will show you uh, what is happening in each and every stroke. Okay, suction stroke, the piston movement is top dead center to bottom dead center, inlet wall condition is open. Uh, exhaust wall condition is closed next crank rotation is off it will make 0 degree to 1 degree compression stroke bottom dead center to drop dead center inlet valve is closed exhaust valve is closed uh, crank rotation is 1 there is a 360 degree it has made one, one rotation of the crank is completed next expansion stroke in the expansion stroke a hot gas are reduced ok TDC to BDC Close inlet valve is closed exhaust valve is closed crank rotation is 1 and off Okay, exhaust stroke and yeah, next BDC to TDC, uh, inlet valve is open, exhaust valve is open, crank rotation is <laughs> two, two rotations of the crank has uh, completed. Okay, so in, <clears throat> now the inlet valve is ready to accept the fresh charge, that is why it is in open condition. Next uh, coming to the diagram, this is a pressure volume diagram. Uh, TS diagram, temperature entropy diagram for auto cycle. Temperature entropy diagram for auto cycle. So in this diagram you can see 1, 2, 3, 4. So auto cycle means constant volume cycle. 
okay uh, toe cycle means what constant volume cycle so here you can see uh, process 1 2 the process represents reversible adiabatic compression process in this process the entropy remains constant s1 is equal to s2 no heat transfer takes place during this process here the piston moves from bottom dead center to top dead center next process 2 to 3 this process represents the constant volume you can see the process the volume you can see the volume is not changing you can see vertical line 2 to 3 is a vertical line volume is not changing or the gap you can see the clearance volume volume say, remains the same so that is why constant volume process this process represents constant volume heat addition process in an IC engine it is equivalent to the burning of fuel by an electric spark and heat is generated process 3 to 4 this process represents reversible adiabatic expansion process uh, in this stroke the piston moves outward from top dead center to bottom dead center and uh, no heat transfer takes place during this process Again, process 4 to 1 is this process represents constant volume heat rejection process so 4 to 1 is heat rejection process uh, so during this process exhaust wall is open so exhaust gases it will go to the atmosphere and brings down the pressure up to the point 1 thank you students thank you for watching this video please comment this any doubt is there please ask me again we will explain once again thank you